WSBW Weather with meteorologist Ferdinand Holum. Hi everybody, ominous skies off of Santa Cruz there. Look at that, you got some clouds, you got some rain way off into the distance, and then look at the water, pretty choppy out there as well. For the most part, temperatures in the 50s, upper 50s, a few low 60s out there as well. Monterey at 61, San Jose at 62. For the most part, everybody else in the middle to upper 50s, Gilroy at 57 degrees as well. Winds uh, still pretty light and variable right now, anywhere from a zero to about eh, eight miles per hour right around the bay. San Jose a little bit more winds out of the south. Those will pick up here in the next couple hours with the passage of a front. Winds a good 20 to 30 miles per hour on the exposed areas. And look at the rain, a lot of rain uh, moving through the southern Santa Lucia's uh, in through the southern Salinas Valley. All those rain showers are making their way into the central San Joaquin and then up and over the Sierra Nevada, dropping some snow as well. Here's the main rain band there. We're starting to see that move on to the San Mateo coast. There's also some rain showers, light rain showers. If you're traveling on 17, it's been raining most of the morning, light rain up in the Santa Cruz mountains. But all this stuff is going to move on shore here over the next uh, yeah, a couple hours or so. It's all part of this uh, trough of low pressure and cold front, which will swing through our area today with the passage of the front. Windy conditions behind the front, cold, unstable air. So we could see a pop up thunderstorm later on this afternoon as well. Maybe a little bit of small hail. Again, just a slight chance, but letting you know it's the possibility out there. So you got the southerly winds there, and there's your main rain band, your front. There it is right there with the strongest winds. Eh, 12 o'clock, that's what uh, Microcast wants to do. Anywhere, 11, 12, 1 o'clock. That's where we'll get the, the, the strongest rain, the heaviest rain, but it won't be a long lasting rain. You know, it'll be short in duration. And then by the time we get through this evening, just a few scattered showers, still some uh, moisture left over for the Santa Cruz area. Also the Santa Lucia, Big Sur Coast as well. And then by early tomorrow morning, uh, microcast wants to put a light shower. That's probably a little bit of mist and drizzle. Nothing major there. Most of Halloween should be dry. And then there is the next uh, rain band that'll come down here. This time's at eight o'clock on Monday, but that look where it is. It's up in the Bay Area. It's not in our area. So again, we'll have to time this out a little better as we get a little bit closer to the actual trick or treating hours. Actually, a good time to download the uh, KSBW uh, news app. We got interactive radar there in the radar or in the weather section. That's a good idea. Then you can know exactly where the rain showers are. If you're heading up to San Francisco today, showers up there as well. Temperatures mainly in the 60s. You get down into the Santa Clara Valley, more 60s as well. 66 in Hollister, mid 60s from San Jose to Gilroy and then down the Salinas Valley, mainly upper 60s and low 70s. Maybe a couple hundreds of rain we'll get in King City. Then on the Monterey Peninsula, more rain as well. Temperatures mainly in the 60s, about a quarter of an inch would probably be a good bet on the Monterey Peninsula. So nothing like the rain, the one inch that we got earlier in the week. Up in the Santa Cruz Mountains, on the other hand, we could get an inch of rain up there. Santa Cruz City proper, about 63 degrees. So again, uh, rain showers off and on today. Monday, most of the day dry, but we're watching the trick-or-treating uh, hours. Uh, so stay tuned on that. By Tuesday, we are done with the rain for a little while and a little bit of a warming trend. Overnight lows throughout the forecast period, 40s and 50s.